Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that all of you are having a good day. Now, my past two videos, my last two videos have been about the two fragrances from the House of Armagh and their Odyssey line, the Odyssey Aoud and the Odyssey Wild One. So uh, that means that I've done reviews now on all eight members, individual reviews of all eight members of the Odyssey line of fragrances from Armagh. So in this video today, I'm going to show you all eight current members of the Odyssey line and I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite. Odyssey line of fragrances from the House of Armagh has a total of eight members, and they sh they share two. They have two things in common. First of all, they have the same goofy bottle design as you can see, but uh, I'll talk about that in a, a little bit later. And also, all eight of those fragrances are actually clone fragrances that are cloning famous designer and niche scents. Okay, let's start now with the actual fragrances. And as I said in the beginning, I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite. And my least favorite out of all eight uh, members of the Odyssey line is called Odyssey Tyrant. As you can see, it comes in this uh, green colored bottle that has sort of a camouflage uh, pattern on it on the sides. Uh, and this thing is a clone of a uh, Bulgarian tiger. I wouldn't call this one a straight up clone, this is more like of an interpretation of the tiger DNA. And uh, unfortunately, out of all four uh, tiger clones that I have in my collection, this is my least favorite, as I said, unfortunately. For some reason, I think the way that the citruses, the grapefruit and other citruses that are done uh, in this fragrance, uh, for some reason, are just not too up to my liking. Uh, and, uh, I've barely used that fragrance ever since I, since I completed my testing of it. So, the eighth and least favorite fragrance out of the Odyssey line is Odyssey Tyrant. The in seventh place will be, uh, or my second least favorite, will be Odyssey Aqua Edition. This again is another uh, clone fragrance, this time a clone of a designer fragrance from the house of Pacoro Bank called Invictus Platinum. Um, again, I'm not the hugest fan, the biggest fan of the original Invictus Platinum, although it's a quite a versatile fragrance and this thing will get you pretty close to the original scent wise, but uh, maybe because I'm not the biggest fan of the original, uh, I'm also not the biggest fan of uh, Odyssey Aqua as well. Uh, with the Aqua edition, this thing has a slightly better performance compared to the Tyrant one. Uh, slightly more above average, let's call it uh, close to uh, a good performer and uh, all in all, as I said, uh, not the biggest fan of this fragrance, neither the original, nor the uh, Armaf interpretation. So that's that's why Armaf Aqua is in seventh position. Number six is going to be Odyssey Aoud. Now, one thing uh, uh, about this fragrance uh, is the fact that uh, I like the bottle design here. I mean, the, the the pattern on the the actual coloring scheme on the on this fragrance. I'm not the biggest fan of the of the whole bottle design of all of the you know uh, Odyssey uh, fragrances, but at least here I think uh, the bottle looks like looks nice in this sort of a dark uh, golden car color. This fragrance is a clone of uh, Initials Wood for Greatness, and I just recently did a full review of this fragrance. So if you're interested to learn more about it about this fragrance, just uh, watch my uh, you know full review of this one. This, to my nose, is a slightly fresher, uh, slightly less spicy, a little bit more wearable version of uh, Wood for Greatness, and it's also slightly sweeter. Performance here is decent, above average. The fifth place is going to be Odyssey Mega. This thing is a clone of uh, YSLY EDP. Uh, Scent-wise, this is a very, very decent clone, one of the better clones that I've tried of uh, Y EDP. But uh, there are two things, two problems uh, for me with this fragrance. The first f problem is that I'm not the biggest fan of the original white DNA for some reason. And, uh, you know, I don't like to wear that one too much. And uh, that's the reason why this has not seen uh, much of an usage from me ever since I got it almost a year ago. And the second reason why I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the Mega is the fact that this is a bad performer. This is probably the worst performing fragrance out of all eight. Performance here barely touches the average uh, norm for me, at least. I get about five to six hours of performance out of this fragrance. But, uh, you know, 
as I said, scent wise, this is quite close to the original. It's a very versatile fragrance that unfortunately has bad performance. And number four is going to be Odyssey Mandarin Sky. This is a clone of uh, Jean Paul Gaultier's Scandal Per Own EDT. Very similar to the original scent, quite a good clone. Uh, feels like a slightly fresher version of the original. We got that Mandarin. Uh, sort of uh, freshness in the opening of this fragrance with of course lots of uh, caramel sweetness on the dry down like with the original it's quite simplistic but has good performance in fact very good performance very good projection and as i said it's a very uh, very very good clone of the original scent uh, in fact one of the better clones in my collection when it comes to closeness to the original scent so if you like uh, Scandal Per Own EDT uh, and you're looking for a clone and you don't know about the existence of uh, Odyssey Mandarin Sky, definitely check this one out. At number three is going to be one of the two original members of the Odyssey line, one of the two fragrances that first came out and it's called Odyssey Home White Edition. This thing has a bad sprayer. <laughs> First of all, but this fragrance is a clone of uh, Armani Stronger With You, the EDT. It's not a straight up clone. This uh, Armani have done a bit of a twist on this fragrance. They've added some freshness in the opening. They've also added some bubble gummy sweetness. So this feels uh, kind of fresh, kind of light compared to the original uh, Stronger With You, the EDT, but definitely carries a lot of that DNA. And uh, it's a very nice alternative to uh, Stronger With You, EDT. Performance here is above average, projection is above average, price tag is low and all in all this is a very very decent alternative to uh, Stronger With You from Armani, the EDT. And this fragrance, the Odyssey Own White Edition is in third position in this video. In second position, in second place is going to be the other original member of the uh, Odyssey Own line from Armaf, which is called simply Odyssey Own or Odyssey Own Black, the black bottle. This thing Again, not the best prayer in the world, but uh, this thing is an alternative to Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. It takes that DNA and puts a bit of a twist. Again, this adds some freshness. Uh, it adds the note of iris to the whole, uh, you know, scent of uh, Noir Extreme. It's not super close. That's why I'm not saying a clone. Actually, this is more like an alternative to Noir Extreme. But uh, I really, really like uh, Odyssey Om Black, the black bottle. And this is actually the first uh, fragrance uh, from the whole line that I ever got into my collection. And one of the first videos, uh, you know, on my channel was about this, the black bottle. I really like this one. Performance here is pretty good. It's well above average. I get about eight to nine hours of performance on my skin with nice projection. Um, it's uh, almost unisex as well. Can be worn by uh, some girls out there without a problem has a low price tag and all in all it's a very interesting uh, little and lovely fragrance that I le really like a lot. And the fragrance, the, my most favorite fragrance out of the whole Odyssey line is going to be the one that I just recently got uh, and it's called Odyssey Wild One Gold Edition. Really really lovely bottle, it's uh, my favorite looking bottle out of all, all eight uh, because of that uh, nice, uh, you know, uh, art design that Armaf have uh, done with this bottle. And this fragrance, let me just show you the sprayer, which is actually the worst spray out of all, because it has a really short travel, so it doesn't put a lot of juice out. But this is a fantastic clone of Dior Sauvage EDT. Probably the best clone of Sauvage EDT that I've ever tried. Now, I am a huge time, uh, you know, a big time lover of the original Dior Sauvage, the scent of that fragrance, and that's why uh, you know, this is my favorite fragrance out of all eight Odyssey, uh, you know, scents. And uh, also I love the bottle, the design, you know, the art design on the bottle. Performance here is great. Projection is great. You know, price tag is low and it's super, super close to the original scent. And that's the reason why Odyssey Wild One Gold, Gold Edition is my favorite member of the Odyssey line. And at the end, I just wanted to quickly mention something. Uh, the price tag on all eight fragrances that I showed you from this uh, line from Armaf, uh, I've paid somewhere between $25 to $35. All of them have, uh, you know, I've paid in that range between $25 to $35. And that makes them, uh, you know, nice cheapies in my opinion. So guys, in today's video, I showed you all eight members of the Armaf Odyssey line of fragrances. And I also ranked them from my least favorite to my most favorite. I hope that you found this video interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that I'm going to see you in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.